Hey everyone, before the video starts, I just wanna let you guys know that there is new crew merch. If you guys wanna represent the crew, these are all of the amazing options. It is available until the 8th of November, and I really appreciate all the support. If you guys get something, make sure you tweet me so I can thank you. And also, welcome to Little Hope. This is a really fun game. It's a five-part series for YouTube with our best buddy, Mr. Megan. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. The ending is incredible, and uh, I think you guys will love it. What is Little Hope about? Well, Little Hope is a story-based game in which Joel and I were gonna play cooperative. We're gonna be controlling, I believe, five different characters throughout their story, and based on the decisions we make determines whether or not they will live or die or kill each other or crazy shit will happen. I believe it's gonna be a teacher and four college students get stuck in a town and then a bunch of crazy stuff happens that will probably get them all killed with the way that we play. Who's the big time actor in this? I don't even know if there's a big time actor in oh, this. Oh, Joel, you didn't, but the, Joel, you don't know the big actor in this one? No, I didn't want. I, I, I told you I purposely don't watch Joel, anything about. You've never heard games. of John Ham? Oh, is John Ham really in this? No, it's Hamm. that dude from Where the Millers. <laughs> oh, uh, the one that has the, his testicles enlarged. Yeah, that's him from Where the Millers. Uh, yeah, definitely not John Ham, Joel. God, you got so excited, dude. Listen, oh my god, dude, how how must it be? Uh, for him to be walking down the sidewalk and then somebody just pull his cell phone out in front of him and be like, Oh my god, I love you, Mother Millers. Hey, can we take a picture? And then you pull out your huge nuts? And he's like, <laughs> no, it was just for the movie. Also, why'd you have to and do that in that game instead of John Hamm? Yeah. My friend really wanted to play with John Hamm and you were in the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see how I start this new story. Joel, no talking over the cutscenes or I'm going to slap you in the face to the point that it's red, Joel, okay? Okay. New <laughs> slot. Start as Tanya or Anthony. If I choose one, will you be the other, Joel? I, well, I'll I defer don't to you. Choice. Do you want to be Tanya or Anthony, Joel? I think I'm more of a Tanya. Yeah, you're. you're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anthony's an I, I Italian didn't, name. I didn't want to say it, Joel, but you're definitely I didn't a Tanya say it, Joel. in this scenario. First, like I, first time I saw you, I thought, damn, All that's right. a Tanya. Hit A, Mr. Joel. And for those who do not know, our decisions in the game will determine the outcome. So if we get people killed, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault, even though it is. Like when Joel killed that guy in Manama Don, it was his fault. Oh, uh, come on. You got him shot, Joel. You know it's true. Well, he wanted... Well, yeah, I wanted him to die. I'm going to slap you. We'll talk about the cutscene. It's not cutscene yet, dick. Oh, that's why they call it Little Hope, Joel. I just figured it out. <laughs> because there's, there's a small person named Hope in the game? I don't know. Present day, it looks like present night. I hope they go to a petting zoo. <laughs> no one can go to petting zoos in 2020. John Hamm has aged poorly. It's actually Kevin Costner, dumbass. Oh, God. I don't think he should be allowed to drive a school bus. <laughs> or that's... Oh, wrong Kevin. <laughs> It's starting bad, it's starting Thanks bad. Going over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Right. We're diverting all traffic through little hope. <laughs> Why would you, you get up? Okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble him too much. 
Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Who the fuck would willingly drive through a place called Little Hope, Joel? I I don't know. Why don't we take the moving I, car? I've been through many locations in the United States. I don't know if there's a location that starts with the name Little. <laughs> right, well, I guess there's Little Italy. Little Italy. I didn't even see any. Did you see people in the bus? Oh, yeah, oh well, now I hear them. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. How long have you been sober? Days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Could you keep it down, please? I oh it said like I guess RB not. so I clicked it I'm sorry sorry I ruined oh, your that's all right. Joel. It's, it's all right James, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? Well, I got Mr. She Megan. looks okay to me. Everything looks okay <laughs> after 10 beers. Nothing's wrong with Megan. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is? You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <laughs> this guy fucking loves that factory. He looks Not 20 tonight. years her elder. No way. Or vice versa. They look like grandparents and they have like a six-year-old kid. Well, he seems 20 years younger than her. <laughs> hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man. Take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for anyone? Damn ice. Number one dad. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. That's Chad. Oh. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. <laughs> Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> It's a box of anime. 
think she was a marine sergeant of past life. It's crawled up his ass. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Hey! Quit acting crazy! Sweetheart, I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. I don't like Megan, Joel. Nothing. <laughs> I love Megan. I just texted Megan to the scary girl in this game is called Megan. <laughs> what, what am I going to do about this? Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. Anyone home? <laughs> Megan is an annoying kid that does annoying stuff all the time. <clears throat> mom and dad know that already. Maybe, but Megan heard them arguing about her. She seemed really upset about it. Upset is a permanent state of being for her. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. Joel, you didn't make your decision in time and he said anyone home? No, no, I, I chose... The two options were rude, so I chose say nothing. Oh, okay. But apparently that wasn't good enough. And then she said the rude thing anyway, that Megan is an annoying kid. She's so did we split kid. up now? Did you go upstairs and I'm downstairs? Yeah, yeah. So in the, in the beginning of the game, I think we were in different spots as well, so. Okay. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Sleeping Beauty wakes. Forget him. Find Megan. Relax. I'm on it. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Yeah. Because you're all about keeping the place quiet. Listen, funny guy. I've had a rough day. 
What's all the noise about, anyway? Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. <laughs> Good luck with that. Megan's a handful. This guy hates Megan. Where's my precious Tanya, sister? People named Megan oh, Clark. I'm gonna need your help, Speedy. Coming, Joel. I'm just checking out Megan's. Okay, I'm coming. I, I think Megan wants to kill me. Anthony, where are you? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, no, it's not Anthony, good. I'm getting really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Oh, I just. Oh my god. I think Megan wants to kill you too. You could be right about my family. She's talking to an imaginary friend. Oh god. I think so too. What Tanya. the fuck? What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> I think it's about to heat up. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Jump down, isn't that like eight feet in the air? Oh, yeah, just land flat body, you'll be fine. And on the snow, too? <laughs> Pops is just burning up in there. I probably jumped. Mom! Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! Help! Bro, jump! Isn't there snow on the ground, too, or am I missing something? Yeah! Hey, what, what are we doing in here? She's just like standing there cooking dinner still. Oh, I guess it's locked. That was rude. Anthony! Hey! Up here! What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! Hey, Dad! Hey, Dad. Living room's on fire, bro. <laughs> Hold on, I'm watching the seventh inning. I'll be done in a few days. That's what wakes him up? Hey, <laughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> oh my god! Fire Dude, child chasing us. Me. Anthony! Help! What should I do? Oh, jump? What, what are my options? <laughs> Slide down that pole. Get to the drain pipe and climb down! Oh, Speedy. Uh, well, I'm choosing your choice, Speedy. Let's see how let's see how smart you are. That looks slippery, Joel. <laughs> you forgot I wasn't wearing climbing boots. <laughs> oh, you just got hung. <laughs> I just got you killed. 
Go pitch my scarf! <laughs> Did we already lose? <laughs> you killed me! <laughs> you didn't ask if I had climb move questions! I should have got my little sister. <laughs> oh my god. Who the fuck's this? Oh, that's the other dude. Eyebrows <laughs> McGee over here. <laughs> Alive anymore, so I'll check his pulse. <laughs> Who the fuck's this guy? Oh my god. Hey, hey guys, I saw there was a fire. I'm the neighbor. <laughs> what have you done? Mom, stop! What the hell? Did we legit lose already? <laughs> do we have to do that again? I think Dust Guy's gonna talk to us soon. Drain pipe seems like a good idea. I got an achievement, so much death. I think we did good, job. <laughs> it's like a D achievement. Dude, I know it's not supposed to be funny when you see your mans get impaled by a fence, but like, it was just so funny, it the was, fact that I got them both like, killed. Well, and the, the way he got impaled was like, like he got quadruple <laughs> impaled. I mean, he got ex Normally when you're impaled, it's just like one thing impaled. I've seen you, that but. scene on the hub, Joel. Oh, oh my god, god. Yeah. it's Will Poulter! It's Desk Guy with his big fedora. Back in business, baby. What would you call on. that is hat, DMCA? Is this DMCA? I think it that's is. the dude. real horror. Oh shit. What type uh, of hat would that be? A, a bowler hat? That's a bowler. I think. That's like the kind of hat that James well, Bond villain threw at people to kill him. Love that for him, dude. I don't think this is skippable, Joel, by the way, so we're just gonna jam out to this. I don't either. Well, and, and we're gonna talk a little bit as well, because you You're gonna have to talk loud, Joel. This is loud. Yeah, we gotta out loud it. Hope Martin Walsh had a fun time being a part of this. <laughs> dude, is there a way to get out of that first scene without killing everyone? Well, okay, That's gotta so be a major storyline change. What, what were your two choices between climbing down something? I think and it was else? you going to the window or the drain pipe. Okay, so I also had the option to override your choice, and I also could have chose window, but I thought okay, so you're an accomplice. <laughs> to your own I'll murder. Take some of the heat. Well, but imagine if you told me to go down the drain pipe, and then I was like, nah, fuck that window, and then I died. Yeah, that would have been uh, bad. Also, Joel, yeah, like, we, I think it's your fault for not wearing your ice boots. Yeah, I, that's not practicing winter safety. I mean, we we're from cold states. Nobody wears yeah. shoes that go below the ankle past like October. Flashbang! God, why was that so much louder than the rest of the game? I, it, it was really loud. Look who's back, Joel. It's Dust Guy. Hello. 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 And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? Oh, we, we actually have. No matter. Welcome to my repository. I. And the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. I like his hair, Joel. It's the slick shame back I wish the, I had. Shame about the posture. <laughs> it's actually really good. I'm jealous. That's why I'm lashing out. <laughs> I want to be this man. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened, or has it? Anyway, <laughs> look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? Eh? Beats. You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. 
We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. <clears throat> you see, you will be determining the outcome of this tale together. What one does will often affect the other. So even though you are two people, you'll be completing the story as if you were one, if that makes any sense. As in life, the actions you take matter. They will determine how your story resolves. You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the end. Oh my god, we can. You've seen how the story starts? <laughs> Should we be taking notes? I'm so much. Deaths. Joel's fault. It's How many beautiful. more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends okay. on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? Which head? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. I don't even know what the fuck that means, bro. Just speak normal. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. Was that one right there, Joel? You have a funeral to attend. I'm Off distracted by his big ears. Have fun. I'm distracted mm. by that dumper I see right there, Joel. That's some hot dude. <laughs> oh do my that. lord! Joel, that was your cat, dude. Megan's in the game, and so's your cat. This is insane. If there's a character called Joel, where I'm gonna stop the stream. I'm not playing anymore. Dead ass. <laughs> I will stop the stream. You're gonna find another co-op partner. Bro. We got a lot of funerals to attend. This is going to be boring. None of us Pro here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. Where's that bitch, Megan? Press we can take respects. comfort from the knowledge that the family are together. Don't call her bitch. Sorry. In God's loving embrace. Be holding an umbrella outside. Why do games do this? Every scary game gives you white screens. I don't understand it. I Andrew. College student. Anxious detached. <clears throat> Didn't he die? No, he's alive. Everyone else died. Head strong. What? How'd you know my name was strong? Oh my god. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you wanna lend a hand here? Oh, wait, I could be a chick. What do you want me to do, John? Call for help. Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Calm down, genius. I already tried making a call. No signal. So try again. Asshole. Hope this gets through the fog. I always pick the asshole options. Hey, Andrew. Buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> Andrew, Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaking up. 
If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. student amiable and Fuck. defensive where's my phone wait are you the woman sweetie yeah <sighs> i'm watching some dude named daniel you see that i'm daniel i'm daniel oh sweet nice dude keep up the good work <sighs> I'm, sure. I'm building my relationship with you you're going up <laughs> angela out here looking for some cubs hey Anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great, take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. <laughs> That's a plan. See you soon. So you, oh, never mind. Oh. Hey Taylor, help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait, I don't remember anything. <laughs> Who are you? It's okay. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <laughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Okay. Crash wasn't Webster's on the dictionary. curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Ooh. Think of it as a character building exercise. <sighs> Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. <laughs> no. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Are you still Angela speeding? Gone into town for yeah. help. No, I'm Taylor. No, you're Angela. I'm some chick with a short you're haircut. You're right. Let's oh, go. Okay. We're, no, we're in a different spot right now. I'm right. The quicker we get help, the quicker we can all go home. Stick close behind me. Are you in dialogue? I can't believe the driver mm -hmm. just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Daniel and Angela should be here soon. 
Shouldn't we be saving the battery on our phone? There's phones? a chain around the gate. Now what do we do? Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. Yay! So strong. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. <laughs> I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? <laughs> you are real hard work, you know that? Too high maintenance to be your squeeze, Daniel. <laughs> You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? Why does her teacher care about the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> you take yourself far too seriously. Lord knows why. <laughs> what? <laughs> I got the Rona. Go ahead and choke. Oh, jeez! Help me! Smoke? Making casual observations here. Nothing wrong with that. Apart from it being real creepy, so stop. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan? Heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. I'll wait on my own, fuck it. Fine, I'll go wait on my own, no problem. Someone's gonna show up real soon. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. I got rid of her, Joel. Come Thank with you. Us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. What? what? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then. Why'd you come back? I don't get oh it. my fucking it god. It doesn't make any sense. Lost it's a soy in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out. What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back. I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know. I can't fucking leave or something. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Me too. Hmm. We were just here. Oh my. Maybe things aren't as they seem, Joel. Mm -hmm. They just did this so they had designed less game. I admit that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah. <laughs> Nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. 
Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Please stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Joel, can we take our first intermission? Oh. Also, Joel, and I there's was a... going to ask you soon. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. There's a scene coming up. This is the only spoiler I know, Joel. In Chapter 3, Season 4, um, there's going to be a decision <laughs> for Taylor to change her hair at the salon from pink to blue. And you need to do that before the Beyond Meat buffet happens in, in Chapter 5, Joel. So just make sure that like... if you're controlling her at that time, you make that decision, okay? I, I feel like you're in charge of Taylor, and the professor should flunk you for dude, talking I've, to him I've, that way. Dude, I every option that was a little a little angsty. I was going with there, Joel. It was a uh, yeah, a lot of angst right there, brother. <laughs> yeah, you were you were really showing it to him. All right, but, let's take a right, brief I'm gonna, I'm gonna, recess, Joel, yeah. and then we'll continue.